Hey guys, another question here. Um, one of my subscribers was watching my elemental uh, magic video. Sorry for that. <laughs> watching my elemental magic video. And if you guys haven't checked it out, you should really check it out here. It was one of my favorite videos. Uh, it was a long, it's like a movie to me. And it was amazing video. Um, I had great success with people with it. Uh, a lot of people loved it. And I, and to this day, I look back and I'm like, oh my god, I still love this. And you can't say that a lot about things that you have said years ago. And you're like, oh, my age views have changed. But this, mm -mm, I love this. I still love that video. Every now and then I kind of watch it just to get a tingle. But this is intriguing to me. Um... I have wanted to get into magic, uh, to get into elemental magic, and I have been very active with my third eye for many years, and I had some pretty surreal experiences. I also do uh, qigong, or qi, uh, qigong, or it depends on how you pronounce that. I was wondering uh, what your views on the difference between qigong elements and the Wiccan hermetic elements, instead of like, uh, instead of wind and spirit, there's metal and wood. Um, now, from you can probably stake me, guys. You can probably freaking put me on a cross here. From my understanding, it's um, Japanese magic. Um, they do substitute wind and they do substitute air and spirit for metal and wood because it was materials that they see and physically formed in a way. Instead of like, you know, wind, you can't really see wind. You can feel it. You can see it actively going through trees, grass. Um, sorts of things like fire and stuff. It can affect things, animate things, certain things, but you cannot really see it. Um, and of course you can't really see spirit visually, um, or some people can't, I don't know. Um, but uh, they use this to reaffirm themselves that the elements are real. Like you can feel earth, you can feel water, you can feel fire, you can feel metal, you can feel the coldness, you can feel wood. Um, I don't know what they are associated with. I don't know much about it. I, I, I would say I'm, I'm preschool at it. Um, that's the only thing I know much. Um, the only thing is that thank you for saying this question to me. Thank you for alerting me with this question because it makes me want to actually study a little bit. Um, funny thing is about it is that my cousin, who he's going... He has like he had two titles going on right now. He has his Wiccan title that he has under his belt, and then now he's uh, he's going under Buddhism. But it's um, have Taoism, I think, into it as well. I don't know if those are two of the same things. But I'm not familiar with that corner. I'm not familiar with Eastern stuff as much, um, which is terribly sad because I do have Japanese in me through my dad's heritage, uh, my great great. Great grandma is full Japanese, so was, I probably have like a, a, two drops of Japanese in me, but still. Um, I'm not familiar with this, but I, I want to say thank you. That's why I'm making this video. It's more of thank you for learning this. I should really study this because it could be the next thing. I could probably mash both of them. I don't see anything wrong with mashing certain uh, certain stuff like that. Like, why can't it be all the elements like that? Um, because you know, if you watch my elemental uh, my elemental magic video, I really combined magics together. Like, I combined water with uh, earth makes mud and makes a whole two uh, based magic. Or light needs air and fire. Um, you could. I like to mix things, if you notice. If anyone knows, I like to mix a lot of cultural things. That's why I'm eclectic. But I like to mix elements. I don't like to see what they transform. It's kind of like taking two different colors, yellow and red, and making, you know, green. Or you take, or blue and purples will make a darker hue of purple, like blue violet, or you know, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I'm killing here. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you to the person. You know who you are. Um, I want to study it. And uh, hopefully that my next video comes out, it might be something that I can have huge amounts of information for you guys. Um, so then guys, you know, hey, you can drop a question in my inbox if you have anything concerning or anything that you kind of want to have my advice vocally. This is what I'm here for. Till then guys, blessed be.